Okay, I'm in the computer lab as you can see. Busy making some quick printouts. There's a class going on, live orientation. Karim is handling that. It's day four. Four. And yeah, feeling really tired. Voice is gone. But I'm sure we're going to have a cool day. Speeding down, and then you see this Coke bottle in there. And it's ice cold, and there's water dripping down. And when they open the bottle, what noise does it make? What noise? That's shh sound. And you think, oh, but I want to drink that Coke on that hot day. I want that Coke. And you're looking at that TV and thinking, I want to go and I'm going to get me a Coke today. And that's what you're going to do. You want your managers to look at your letters and look at your CVs and go, oh my goodness, this is amazing. That's the Coke bottle. You are the Coke bottle. You want them to look at your CV and look at your letter and think, but that is somebody I want to hire. That is somebody that I must have standing in my institution because they are going to be valuable. They are going to be an asset. And do you know what an asset is? Anybody know? An asset is something that helps your company to grow. So if you have a very good CV or a very good letter, that tells your manager or your <laughs> my stomach and my legs, okay? So you're seeing the rest of my body. And this is the, the longest part of my body. This is where you see the most. So in the body of your essay, you have the most writing. So in your introduction, you were looking at different topics. So if I underlined with a lot of you guys, you were talking about poverty, talking about tourism, talking about unemployment. Those are the kind of topics that you guys underline, okay? So in a body, you write your topic. So let's say you're talking about tourism. And then you start telling me all the things you want to say about tourism. It's a free period. This is what, this is what Karima looks like after <laughs> what a double what it? life orientation in English and some Hang other stuff. Man. Hangman. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what to say really because I'm tired. <laughs> spoken so much I've today. I've never been this tired before. <laughs> it's like it's not like you're tired. It's like you're, so you're exhausted. Tired. Like it's emotionally drained. Yeah, it's like I can still run around if I wanted to, but my brain doesn't want me to do anything right now. Like even talking to you right now, it's like it's too much of an effort. I just want to eat my plum and just think about my life and reflect mm. on what just happened. <laughs> I mean, it's great. They're great kids. And it's just there's so much to do. And I totally respect what teachers do. Like it's, it's a job, especially here in the township. It's a, it's a job. I don't know, it's, it, it takes a lot out of you. And, and they still have to go home and you know, look after their own families. And, wow, it's, um, it's an undertaking. You need to get paid way more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you need to get paid more than Jacob Zuma. <laughs> yeah, Jacob Zuma needs to get paid less. <laughs> Teachers must pay more. I think that's how they should do it next year. Or the, the financial budget's coming um, for the year. So take less. Politicians need to ha be paid less. Teachers need to be paid more. I think that's how we need to do it. That's an equal balance because the politicians are being taught by the teachers. So in a way, they're giving back. And yes, I think I've solved our problem. And more money for facilities in schools. Who needs ships and guns <laughs> when people need books and pencils and pens? <laughs> it does, doesn't make sense. And I've seen the reality here. You know, it's, it's real. <laughs> The pen is mightier than the sword. There we go. <laughs> teachers out there from primary school, high school, varsity, and whatever colleges I did, I would like to apologize if I ever disrupted your class. I totally feel your pain. <laughs> Just like the song. How does the song go? I feel your pain. I feel your pain in the membrane. Pain in the membrane. <laughs> That's fantastic. I'm sorry. Okay. We That's love so you, Linda. I'm sorry, I teacher. Like, day, day four was really great. Um, we played a really cool game. The guys like to auction. They like to spend money or not spend money. Some others. Um, some other guys also committed some counterfeit 
um, were counterfeiting um, banknotes that we made so that they can still you know win the game uh, it seems like when you bring the competitive edge to the to the lesson you know the people want to learn more and they want to take part more so basically basically what I'm trying to say is that the the interaction and the communicative approach definitely works. Kids really respond to it, all of them. It doesn't matter who, who, who was, like even the most quiet guy in the class was participating in, in, in the games that we did, from the hangman to the auction to the, what was the other games? Quite a few other games, I can't remember the other ones. But they did participate and they were look, taking part in the worksheets after we had done a game with them. So um, definitely it works. Uh, I mean, it requires a lot more creativity and a lot more commitment by the teacher. But once you do it, you know, the results are just uh, tremendous. Like, a lot of the, the work that we did was through the games, but now when they're doing the worksheets, they totally um, use all that knowledge that they gain from playing the games to actually do a, a normal exercise. So for me, that, that proves it works. I mean... The old system of doing things does not compare to this new style. And um, I'll be sort of sad to see everyone go. Also the team, because also, yeah, also as the TEFL team of 2010, um, it'll be sad to see all these guys go now, because in a way I won't be seeing them. Maybe I'll see them again when, I'm, I, when I go to Korea in August, but it's just that unit that we formed, because we're all friends and very familiar with each other, and we spent a lot of time together. So, yeah... It's been it's been a great experience, and I thank you know the guys from the Knowledge Workshop, Paul, Marion, awesome stuff. Um, I just really hope you guys keep on going with what you're doing because you really are um, changing lives. I, I I have to admit, I mean, what these guys are getting, and the teachers too, you know, it's it's it's, it's wealth beyond you know comprehension. Oh well, I'm gonna go now and prepare my lesson for tomorrow. It's going to be a short one because we only have like 30 minute periods or 20 minute periods, I'm not too sure. So I'll see you guys day five, number five. Slap in the face. Fistful of five.